Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and we've got a uh, what looks to be a really good setup for next week with an Arctic front across the Intermountain West. But right now, where's the snow? Well, we've had some decent snow up there in parts of Banff and parts of BC. This is sunshine, reporting like six, seven inches of new snow. Um, this is just on the very leading edge of what's going to be that that Arctic front and storm system for the lower 48 Intermountain West come next week in Colorado right now. Right, and the sun's finally out. Sun is out in Winter Park after a few flurries this morning. You can see uh, busy there. I think you've got some decent snow. Finally, um, we could be talking about some bigger totals for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. But that's the way it looks right now in Winter Park. And I'm still looking at Wolf Creek and Crested Butte. I've actually got a snow plume for Crested Butte coming up, but um, the western and southwest uh, parts of Colorado could be in for some very big totals next week. Let me show you the pattern. So, got quite a bit of action here with the jet kind of carrying everything way up into BC and then kind of running down over the top of uh, eastern BC and western Alberta. That's where we're having that snow right now, where you have that snow and sunshine, and then it's kind of running down like this, and then it's escorting everything off into the northeast. You've got a clipper headed towards the northeast for tomorrow. Um, beneath this, there's a big area of high pressure somewhere right in here. Um, and and um, that's kind of protecting California. But anyway, all this, there's a couple of different areas of low pressure will um, become the storm cycle for the Intermountain West next week. It's going to go up over the top. You can already see it's pushing some of that up over the top. And then the whole thing is going to buckle and move way down to the south with a big dip in the jet stream across the west. Intermountain West for next week. So let, let me just uh, kind of pinpoint this. Let me show you what the uh, GFS thinks here. Uh, 12Z uh, run of this. And there goes the, uh, look at the northeast. There comes the clipper here Saturday morning. It moves in. Um, look at all the action running through BC, western um, Alberta. Um, so all that action is kind of piling up, coming up over the top of the, uh, the ridge and that jet. And then it begins to drop south. Here's Sunday morning. Look at it dropping south in the form of an Arctic front. Montana, Idaho, Pacific Northwest. Uh, Monday, Monday night. Here's Tuesday morning. Excuse me, Monday morning. Here's Monday morning. This is the 21st of February. The front's coming down through Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, clipping California. And then it rolls into Colorado. Monday, midday, afternoon into the mountains. That whole Arctic front, there's going to be a lot of wind associated with this, slams into Colorado. Um, this is Monday night. Here's Tuesday morning. This is the 22nd, so snowing in Colorado. And then there's a little bit of a lull Tuesday night, according to this, because there's a second low. There's a two-storm combo, and it swings in on the backside Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. Here's Wednesday morning. And brings more snow into parts of Utah, western and southwest Colorado, northern New Mexico. You can see the low. Um, this kind of hangs on. The GFS hangs on to things a little bit longer. It's not as fast. But um, anyway, you get the idea. It could be a two-storm combo for next week. And look at that. Snow hanging on in Colorado. We're going to see some big totals there. And then after that slides out, things really quiet down across the west, at least for a couple of days. So let's look at what my, uh, my totals are here. All of today through the 24th. So you're looking at um, the totals from essentially both storms uh, on this forecast for next week. Uh, about a foot, and I, I, again, I'm really holding in the and really cutting sort of on the forecast here, right in the middle ground for the Wasatch and the Tetons, 12, 13 inches. Numbers could be higher than this. I just want to wait and see how fast and how deep the low, the initial low goes, and how fast the second low is on the backside before I pump those numbers up too much. But I think given the circumstances, with both storms and the progression in Colorado, the numbers are going to be big, probably one to three feet. Certainly a couple of feet over the San Juans, potentially pushing three feet, especially over Wolf Creek. I don't think that's out of the question. Then the question is how far north do those big numbers spread towards I-70? I think it's possible that it includes Crested Butte, Aspen, Snowmass. But beyond that, Summit County and north, I think you could certainly be in for a foot. I, again, I want to see how progressive and how fast these things move and how far south they, they dig. But that's the way I look at it right now. Here's phase two. So this is the 25th through the 27th. 
Um, you can see the numbers really big back in the Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff, because that's where the next storms, uh, that's where the next setup will go with the jet and continue just to kind of pound those areas. Um, here is my snow plume for Crested Butte. Like I was saying, I do think given the circumstances that Crested Butte, Aspen Snowmass catch some of the big totals out of this. And you can see it, 21, 22, 23. I think those are the prime days for potentially a couple of feet of snow. Crested Butte, West Elks, and Aspen Snowmass, and certainly a couple of feet down over Silverton, Pur Purgatory, um, Telluride, to probably three feet over the top of um, Wolf Creek. So that's what I'm looking at there. What about the Northeast? Well, here you go. A foot to two feet possible. You've got a clipper beforehand, and then potentially these big storms coming out of the Intermountain West will then affect the Northeast. That's why the numbers would be potentially large, assuming these storms come out of Colorado, New Mexico, swing up through the heartland, and then affect the Northeast. All right, so we'll, we'll end on these totals right here. We'll go back to this again all of today through the 24th. This is really good. I'm excited about this. Let's wait and see how these storms, the two-storm combo ends up, how close they are together, tracking to each other. will determine a number of things, but the numbers look good right now. All right, uh, have a great weekend. Find some powder. Always appreciate you guys tuning in here, and take care.